Hello folks, welcome to our little corner of paradise, here in the second look at Autonauts. I'm going to do a few episodes, I think, and because there seems to be the demand for it, and also I bloody love this, it's all great fun. Uh, since the last episode I have done quite a lot of extra fiddling around quality of life stuff, I've repaired a little... There's a, there's a bit of robots programming which was a slightly askew from the last one, so I've made sure they're all working. There's so many more robots now as well. I've, um, I've created a few more and we're going to program some more straight off. Um, and also, um, um, later on in the episode, we are going to start fruit farming in preparation for creating our first colonists. And um, We may do a bit of research, but I think at the moment that might be a bit jumping the gun. We really need to start thinking about food first. Now, um, all these crates are now built. And we've got an acorn storage thing, and we've got a, a lad gathering those, a little robot lad. And we've also got um, the first automated tool making. We now make axes. Um, oh, in fact, this robot does over here. When there's um, when this is um, not full, in other words, when the, the storage guy has picked up the axe and put it into the thing, then he'll start uh, making a new axe. But we've got plenty at the moment. And when the chopper um, chops down the tree and runs out of axe, he'll come to the crate instead of the workbench now to pick up a new axe. So that's now fully automated. However, we do have... Um, we do need to actually do that for the, both the pick and the spade, which is why I've got these four lads over on the left. Over here, I did finish off the whole pole chopping thing as well. So sometimes um, a robot will come and pick a plank off the, the now double storage and take it over here to do chopping. But there's no point now because the pole storage is full. So we're all good to go, really. F um, everything is ticking along fairly nicely. Although we do need to keep on winding our robots up quite a lot. But never mind. So let's go over here. And have a look at our lads. We've, okay, we've got a spade maker. Let's start with him. And let's see. What we need is to guide him to this workbench over here. But first, he'll need a stick from our stickarium. Oh, hang on. I haven't actually pressed record yet. So I better do that first. Take a stick. Put it on the workbench. Pick up a rock. Put it on the workbench. Make the tool. Fine. Now let's do it until um, this here is full. So I'll only ever make one. until, And then once that's stored away, he'll make another one. Now I'm not 100% sure, but I think I also need to add another repeat around it. But I'm never quite sure about that. Anyway, so he's not going to do anything just yet, because we do need to start storing the, the spades. So we need to find... Now which one is it? It's Spade Storer over here. So all you need to do is, press record, pick up the spade, put it in there. And that's literally it. That's all I'm going to bother doing. Repeat forever. So now we have it, and the first spade is stored, and this the spade crafter is now sorting out a new one. And we now need to do the same for the, um, the pick as well. So, pick maker over here. You need to go again, record... Pick up a stick, put it on the workbench, get the rock, put it on the workbench, make the bloody pick, make the bloody pick. There we go. Then the usual stuff, wait until that's full, uh, and possibly useless extra repeating thing. Uh, and then we need to finally store the picks as well. So grab, store, repeat, go. And that should sort all those lads out. All the tools we're making be made automatically. And the crates only have a storage um, capacity of 10 for tools. So it's not that, as if we're going to make a million pointless tools. You need winding up. You need winding up over here. Our forestry lads are doing bugger all at the moment. Working hard out here in the field. Windy, 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 windy. Windy, 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 windy. Right, so it's starting to get out of hand, this list of bots. Uh, luckily, um, the, the game does actually want us to sort that out. Uh, the official planning robotics thing um, says, I've, I've made enough bots, I've taught enough bots, but now I need to make some teams out of bots, uh, which is a good opportunity to do this. So what I'm going to do is make a bunch of teams. I'll, I'll have Team Crafter, and then we'll just drag all the crafty type lads into there. So we need Plank Maker, we need Pole Maker, Axe Maker... Pickmaker. This is why it's good to give your lads really obvious names. Ah! That's already completed the thing. I've done three bots in a team. So that completes this. 
allows us to craft a crew gear at a workbench. Gives us a slabby poos. And we also have just also made the tools at the same time. We've made, um, well, because we've, we've automated this process, so that's been happening whilst we're, we've been fanning. And we've got another slab. And we've completed all the academy things. Every single lesson completely learnt. Hooray! Oh, there's a bunch more. Right, yeah, so we need to start getting colonisation underway. And we have basically, it allows us to have a choice of either doing the farming fruit or farming food. And later on we'll be able to do actual colonisation by producing vats to produce colonists in. It's all... I don't know how much we got to that bit yet, but it's going to be creepy. Let's... well, we'll do that. we'll launch the lesson here. There's a little, little tutorial, because it's incredibly quick, this one. Click the blueprint button to access the database. Click the food button to open the section. Click the berries button to see where they come from. Who would have guessed it? You use a stick or flail to beat a bush to release the fruit. So stick plus bush equals fruit. And that's literally it. That's the entire lesson in this, in this case. And there's a missing square there, by the way. That's for research. And um, for that, you do need to make a research bench, which is there. I'll be putting the thing there. Um, in preparation for later. However, there's no real point in doing it just yet because the research station is powered by uh, Wuv. Colonist Wuv, to be exact. <laughs> yes, it's it's a bit it's a bit cutesy. <laughs> but yes, um, I think you get love I'm gonna call it love, I'm not gonna say Wuv. And you get love from actual real life colonists, which we haven't got yet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave research to one side for a bit. Anyway, we've also we also need to make a few more teams. Foresters. And foresters are going to be our first ever robots. Uh, we also need storers. I think it'd be a wise idea to have a bunch of storage lads. And that's going to be you. You. You can see suddenly how just much more elegant it is to actually have them in teams. You can actually give them team orders. But th the way I'm doing it is probably not very useful. Also, c carry logs. That is badly named. That should be log storer. And then put that into storage, lads. And we've got a leftover miner. Um, who doesn't get a team? <laughs> he can be lonely. Anyway, we do need to wind up absolutely everybody at the moment, I think. Now, the exclamation marks are to tell me that there's a new um, thing I can make on that. Actually, no, hardly any of them actually need winding up. I was being tricked. So what I can do is make another workbench. Yeah, we'll do it. Over here, maybe. To make the workbench, we just need two logs. Where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> and because all my incredible storage solutions are now in place, it does mean that all this crafting stuff that took so long in the first episode are now really quick. Those sticks are, are going spare, see? Now, we're going to set this to the gear, which will just basically requires one plank. Uh, we don't really need to do anything with that just yet. Uh, I am tempted, though, just to set a crate just there. And so what we could do is... Um, we'll make we'll make a gear, which we'll be getting a plank from over there. I've laid things out badly. Things... <laughs> the routing is getting peculiar. Anyway, get the gear, put it in the... Oh, I haven't actually... <laughs> Slight mistake, I haven't actually made the storage yet. So I need four planks and, was it, four four poles. So I get as many of those as I can. And get some poles from over here. These, the pole-making robots have been sat idle for ages, because, well, we haven't been using any poles. But now, I've reactivated them. Yep, made the crate. And we can declare that to be the gear storage thing. But we also say we're not really doing anything with that just yet. So that can wait. Oh, the chicken's having a kip. Right in the middle of everything. You, the planter, need some juice. Good. All sorted. These lads doing nothing because there's nothing to do at the moment. All our th Almost all our crates are full now. It's really rather marvellous. So, let's start our new adventures in planting. So we did say we've got to get, get ourselves a stick. Now, can we just hit the fruit tree, or is it a bush we need to... Let's try. Let's see what happens if we wallop that. Oh, I don't know what am I doing. Can you... Oh, you can make a stick 
You can make a hole with a stick. I didn't know that. Anyway, yes. Right. Have I got a stick? Yes, I have. Now, how am I supposed to actually hit this thing? Maybe it's some... Hang on, let's, tr let's try that again. Blueprints, food... Oh, well, okay, I think I'm actually... Um... Ah, that's why. The fruit trees, you actually have to hit with a wooden mallet to get an apple. But we don't want fruit trees, we want the purple bushes. Alright. Wild flowers? Oh, bush! Bush! Found a bush! Let's beat the bush. Beat around the bush. Yes. Hello. And... Fruity pie! Hooray! Put that down. Grab that. Now, what the bloody hell do we do with this, then? Uh, I don't actually know yet. What can we... What can we do? Do we need... We need to plant it, don't we? I guess. Uh, do we need soil? I guess. I mean, we could... We could take it over and put it in some soil. Maybe over here? Maybe we have to put it in a hole in the ground. Maybe that hole I made will actually prove useful. Hmm. There? Ooh, yes. Yep, the bush is now growing. Oh, hello, there you are. And then I guess we just repeat the cycle and we'll have some food. So we, we just need to store a load of berries. But first, yes, <laughs> there's the whole winding up thing to take care of. Oh god, you and all. So I'll start digging some holes for these bushes, but then it occurred to me what we really need, should be doing is recreating our forestry team. Only, instead of chopping down trees, we just hit the bushes with a stick instead. And otherwise it would be exactly the same as the foresters, um, pretty much, because we need one robot. Let's, in fact, let's just start building robots. I still haven't um, automated robot buildings. I don't think there's that much point yet. Let's put the spade away. Uh, so... Yeah, I'll have to do those manually, but it's a lot quicker now. You do that. Oh god, everyone's... You turn away for two seconds and everyone's out of juice. Oh, damn it. Right, so more robots. We need a log. The trouble with them automating the whole sort of robot building process is just to, like, um, get people... Oh, got the robots gathering stuff to put it on the assembly unit. Um, that requires several robots, and... Uh, it's... Yeah, it'd be a... It'd be a I think it'd be more effort than it's worth. Frankly. One, two, three. Put that down. And we also need... Oh, you'd have thought I'd be able to remember the bloody recipe by now. But it's a lot quicker, as I say, now, because everything's really close by. So I'm going to have to build another two robots after this. So I've made three robots. Um, it occurs to me what I might do is just chop down a couple of the trees that are around here, just to give us space to work with. It doesn't matter that the stumps are left, I don't think. Ooh, oh, I cancelled that when I was halfway through. Right, chop you down. I'm, I'll take that to the storage whilst I'm at it. This is starting to get quite full. And I'm wondering... Oh, you've run out of juice. And I'm kind of wondering whether I should um, add a, an, another layer to this, like I did with the planks and the poles. Yeah, I might do that. I'll do that now. It's very easy to do. Um, requires one log. Now the trouble is, um, you can't actually take a log out of here when it's being constructed upwards. Oh, I've just chopped up the bloody thing. <laughs> Don't actually mean to do that. Oh, I've done it again. Take it out of your hand, boy. There we go. Oh, I've done it again. I've got, I've got an axe in both hands. That's why. Uh, put an axe down. There we go. Get you. Right. Put a log there. Now we need three planks. Thankfully, I've just made a bunch. Let's get rid of those. Do, do, do. And grab a couple of poles. Did I get two? Um, no, I didn't. I only got one. Right, that should cheer them up. Nice extra bit of storage. Right, now we need to teach robots to do new tricks. Um, I think so. We need a hole digger, which we've already got one hole digger, so I've got hole digger two. There he is. Let's give my spade to the robot and get myself another spade. It's going to make teaching a bit easier, that. Oh, <laughs> stop! Stop, 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 stop. Right. Okay, so now we need to do this. Go 
over here. Dig an hole. Let's set the area. We don't want it to overlap with the other area, which is kind of over there. So let's do it kind of there. That should do. So they'll dig holes in there. Um, but we also need to do it as usual, so... Repeat until hand's empty, and then go and get another spade. But not from there, from the actual spade storage. Now there's a slight... Oh, no, it's, it's fine. It's still, it's still taking the instructions. There. I was going to say, because I couldn't take a spade out, because I had one in my hand, but it didn't really matter. The instructions still happened. So, he's off doing his digging thing. Uh, I also need to program planting fruit. Oh, we, the trouble is we haven't got any fruit yet, so what I'll have to do is set up a new storage for fruit. Um, the fruit, I don't know what we're going to do with the fruit ultimately. Uh, I think so... Therefore, I think I might actually put the storage kind of over here, maybe? Might be a good idea. For which we need four planks and four poles. Unfortunately, this is going to take a bit longer to sort out. Let's put that spade down. One, two, three, four. So we'll need to actually have somewhere to put the, um, the berries. But, I mean, first of all, the, the actual um, the berry harvesting lad, all he needs to do is actually bash the butt. She doesn't actually need to do anything with the berries. I'm just going to quickly divert past to give someone some juice. And you and all. And we need four poles. One, two, three, four. So essentially they'll use the berries to keep on planting bushes and any spare will eventually go into the, the, berry, the berry store thing over here. So we need to set up a new robot. So let's go over here. This is, this is going to be the, the Basheru. So we'll need... Um, we'll need a stick for a start. And we'll go over to... Which one is it? Um, Fruit Basher. That's the, that's the lad. Oh, I've, just picked him, I've tried to pick him up then. Did not mean to do that. Right, where are you? Um, Fruit Basher. I'll give you a stick. And now we need to go bash us some fruit. So, record. Click on that. Until berries appear. There we go. Max area. Can't quite remember which where that was. Uh, around that. And then we need to do this. Repeat until hands are empty. And when they're not, we go and get a stick. And we loop that forever. Right, so there aren't any bushes currently bearing fruit, so he's not going to actually move anywhere anytime soon. Now, thankfully, thankfully, we do need now to set up the final piece of the puzzle, the berry planter. So let's start teaching. Well, let's let's put the things down in my hands first. There are some berries there. That's good. We, we need those. Right. That's the pole maker. We don't want to teach the pole maker anything. Where's the, um, where's the new robot? I always think he's, um, bush plant. Oh, no, that's the right one. That is, I think I was just trying to get the pole maker, wasn't I? Right. Okay, that's fine. Right. So you go and pick up a berry. I'm wondering whether we should, um, make it so that the... He actually picks berries up from the store thing and puts it here. That might actually be a better idea. But we'll do this for now. We'll have to, we'll have to set up a fourth robot as well. But whatever. I think that's we don't need him to get any tools. So that should be fine. He's winding up. Right. So you need to bung that berry in there. Now, in theory, that should be it. We should all be good. It's just that there's no, um, as I say, there's no new berries left. But we'll assume everything is completely fine. And we'll also have to set up a fourth robot, I think, to do this berry storage thing. And um, if you look at the tutorial thing, uh, bottom right, berries released two. 
Berries planted two, and berries stored none. Which ain't great. So we will have to build another robot. Okay, I realised I'd actually incorrectly programmed the berry planter, so he went around picking up berries, but that was it. He wasn't planting them. So I'm just redoing that. So I have got... I've dropped some berries on the ground, and I'm just reteaching him. So go, get the berry. Make sure that's in the right area. It's roughly that one, I think. Maybe it's a bit... Oh, no, I think it was like that. Dick! And then go and plant the damn thing. There. Make sure that the area is the same. And go. Now he should actually be doing what he's supposed to do. So the hole diggers dug a lot of holes around here. Right, so I think... Hang on, just sort that out. So those are all nicely done. It, it's handy because now we're in teams. If there's um, if any of them are within the team are like out of energy, it'll show me here. So I'll be able to go in and sort out which one's um, got the problem. Which is handy. As I say, the, um, the, the team system is quite handy on them very basic level. Right, okay, so we now need to program our new berry storer. Now we should hopefully start getting a lot more berries turning up. Oh, wait, what have we done? I need to, need to put those berries down. I need to pick up that robot. Bring him over here. So this is going to be the one that mops up the other berries. So, program and pick up a berry. Stick it over here. Nice. Make sure he's in the right area. And then repeat. Go. Good. Strong. Right, why is nobody doing anything around here then? We shall see. I'll put him... Uh, he doesn't go in the berry farmers. He goes in the storage, lads. And it looks like Fruit Basher is waiting for the fruit to grow. In fact, that should be... I think it should be Berry Basher. Berry Basher, there we go. So there's no... there's no nothing bearing fruit. So the Berry Planter is busy. Uh, and the Hole Digger... The Hole Digger? Have you not got a spade? Oh, I think of him. Um, there's an interesting thing you can actually do. Just get rid of that. If you click on the team, it shows you which areas they're working in. And then they're not overlapping correctly. I have actually set that up slightly incorrectly, so at some point I'll go and fix that. But that's a handy little thing. I think we're a hole digger. What's he actually doing at the moment? Oh, no, he's doing it. He's doing it. Slowly but surely. All, all sorting itself out. And we have ourselves a bit of, bit of a berry farm. Um, our numbers in the bottom right are going up. Slowly but surely. And then after that we'll actually start to be able to colonise. So in the meantime, let's quickly whip up our research station, just whilst we're hanging out. It's actually quite expensive, this. No, not massively so. Two planks, and then eight each of planks, no, sorry, two logs, eight each of uh, the planks and the poles, and also some stone. I'm, I'm not picking things up correctly at all here. There we go. Trying to do one thing whilst saying another. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Might as well get them over here. Well, that's activated the pole makers. A lot of work going on. Oh, everyone over to the right has lost energy, I see. There's exclamation marks all over the, um, the right-hand column. And we need a couple of stones as well. Now, the crates are stackable, as well as the pallets, so we could really increase the capacity here if we wanted. Anyway, this is the research. You're ready to begin your exciting journey of scientific discovery. No, we're not, because we can't produce love yet. Anyway, all the research is summarised here. And I can research level one. Currently, there's level... Oh, God, give me that. There's levels two, including pottery, shelter, masonry... Construction, power, robotics technology level 2. And then there's level 3, which is, wow, lots of stuff. Including bees! Yay! I can make bees. Oh, God. And level 4, and level 5, and level 6. Power technology. That looks like very in-game stuff. But now we can do level 1. Uh, like make mallets, the wooden mallets that would need to do fruit farming for the apples and that. Storage technology, 
loads of farming technology, there's loads of robotic technology, including ways to make um, bots last longer with one charge, which would be very handy. A backpack upgrade, bots can store more. Ooh, so lots of stuff there. However, as you can see at the bottom, they all require, they require one acorn, um, but they require a hundred colonist worth, which we haven't got any, we haven't got any colonists yet. So that's pretty much useless for the time being. I'll just set it, set it at random. Uh, okay, so we've done that, and now we're kind of like waiting for things to happen. So let's be busy um, winding things up. So things are going theoretically okay. There's only one problem with this setup, and this is what I mentioned earlier, is that there are two robots fighting over the berries that keep on being released. So most things, are get, most of the berries are actually getting stored, but hardly anything's getting planted. So I will need to rejig the uh, the berry planter robot, uh, which is you. Instead of trying to find berries in this area, let's give it to that. I'm going to make it so he simply goes over to here. So that needs to go to the top. Hang on, that's the wrong way around. Move to berry storage one. Take from berry storage. Pick up berries, get rid of that. Find nearest hole. Move to hold, use handheld item, and repeat. The only trouble is that we may end up with too many bushes here. So it is a bit different, this, to the forestry thing, because um, once we've actually um, got the fruit off the trees, or the bushes in this case, the bushes still exist, unlike with the trees. So the whole planter guy here will eventually become pretty much redundant. But I don't care. I don't like him anyway. He, he never cleans the oil off his bum. It's a disgusting robot. Oh, here we go. I've been interrupted whilst trying to um, build more crates. Yay! Still haven't actually tried trying on it. Trying on, uh, tried trying on any of these clothes yet. Right, so there's nothing more we can do there. I think we have to somehow jump into... Well, maybe we should do... I don't know if we, if we have to do the mushroom thing or not. You can actually pin these things. Like that. It's quite handy. Reasonably. Con needs seed dispenser. So we can actually do these things. So seed dispenser built and um, incubator built. Because I think we have... The abilities to do it here. Incubator and seed dispenser. Yes, we can. Cool, we'll do that next time anyway. Um, get rid of that. Uh, because, yes, I just need to finish off these crates. Uh, and all the, all the fruits all coming along so nicely now. Oh, it's all so lovely. Right, so do subscribe to the channel to be notified when new stuff goes live. Click the link to the Patreon on the screen or in the description if you want to support us. Keep us going, finding all the best games around. I'll see you next time.